Yo, yo, yo. Good morning, folks. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you're at in the world. This is uh, Snap the Little Gorilla. Welcome to the definition, <clears throat> excuse me, of anarchy. I want to say this, y'all. I want to apologize for the second part of my no one cares about black on black crime video because it took four days for YouTube to upload my video. Four days. All right. Wait, was it four days? When did, when did I make that video? No, it wasn't four days. Three days, whatever. There's no reason it should have taken that long for that video to come out. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I why am I paying for YouTube premium? If I don't get premium service with my shit. This is what I want to say. We have to stop letting these technocrats, these techno these techno oligarchs, we gotta stop letting them ride rush out over us because we feel like they have the only platform that can sustain the number of people that use it, right? And we know that there are very few. We know YouTube, their servers are like beyond belief. Like they can handle the load of what people put up, what people play, the playback, the uploads, the downloads, the whip loads and all that shit. We know they can handle all that. But that doesn't mean we have to bow to them and be beholden to what they're doing, all right? They're very selective about what rules they enforce. What we have to, what we have to help point out is that these <clears throat> platforms are not behaving like platforms. They're behaving like publishers because they're picking and choosing and editing and deciding what goes in their platform beyond just what their ground rules are. Yes, they're, they are a private company. YouTube's a private company. Facebook's a private company. Twitter's a private company. But if they're not enforcing their guidelines and their rules, evenly across the board, then what they're doing is curating. Once they start curating content, then they no longer are a platform. They don't have the protections that a platform would have. You know, under the law, where if someone puts out content that could get somebody sued, well, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter would be exempt from that suit because they're a platform, not a publisher. But if we help shine a light on the fact that they're behaving like publishers and that they should indeed also get sued, maybe they'll start backing off of the BS, off the shadow banning, off of the censorship. It's not their job to censorship, to censor content if they're a platform. You understand? It's not their job. Now, yes, if somebody's making threats, if somebody's showing violence in a certain way, it should be handled a little differently. That there has, yeah, there will be some things that you can't do or, or can do. But this is what I say though. And even if somebody's posting content like that, you can put up a warning saying, look, this has such and such and such a type of content and let people decide whether they want to watch that or not. And let advertisers decide what they want to put their advertisements on. If, if, <clears throat> if they, if advertisers don't consider you advertiser friendly, then that's on you. And, and that's between you and the advertisers. You know what I mean? It's because some people like me, right? Even if I reach 1000 subscribers and I, you know, my watch time is, is met up and all the other shit. And I have, I met all the requirements to become monetized. I probably won't be <laughs> having any commercials just because of my content. The, 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 the level of my content, my, the way my content is, with the things that I say, the topics I cover, and the way that I cover it, not necessarily advertiser friendly. So I probably won't be having commercials, and that's okay. And that's how it should be. So anyway, I'm just saying, I'm saying all this to say, it shouldn't take three days to upload a, 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 a 30 minute video on YouTube. That's completely asinine. I'm like, yo, what? I put out the first video. It got. I put out the first video. It got cut off 
because somebody called me. And so now I want to put out the second video so that you guys can have more context of what I'm saying. So that you guys can understand more so I can put the more information out there so people can understand where I'm coming from. Or whatever, or don't understand it. It's okay. You don't have to understand shit I put out. You don't even have to agree after that second video. But I I understand what's real. I am in touch with the streets to a certain level. You know, not as much as like I said, my brother. My brother's more in touch. So I get a lot of information from him. My cousin, who's a blood shot caller. He's way more in touch. So I might get information from him because he's real and honest. And my brother, my brother is more in communication with my cousin. So anyway, I'm a little bit closer to the streets than many of my audience. And many of the people that would watch this video. And, and, and definitely more than the people that believe that no one cares about black and black crime, that no one's doing anything to stop it. I'm definitely more in touch with those people, obviously. I just showed how. So anyway, the point is this. We got we got to stop letting YouTube and Facebook and all these other people. They they need us just as much as we want them. We don't need them. We don't need them to communicate to put information out there. We can do it in other ways. We can start our own platforms. But guess what? They need us. They need all the people that upload to their platforms or their publishing houses. That's what I'm gonna call. They're no to me. They're no longer platforms. They're publishing houses, right? They're publishers. So these publishers need us more than we need them. But they do things and skew things in a certain way to make it seem like we need them. We don't. So. We need to start focusing on how we can change that. Because it should not take three days. Listen, I, I restarted my phone. I restarted YouTube. I, 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 I deleted the app from my phone. I re-uploaded the app to my phone. And it still took this long for my shit to get uh, rendered and uploaded. What was it? What was it? So anyway, what can we do? What? I know there's other platforms out there that are trying to take the place of YouTube in certain ways, like DLive, uh, BitChute, these type of platforms. But the problem with, with, with BitChute is they don't have an app. And the issue with DLive is, well, there's really no problem with DLive, but it's just really a streaming platform. So we need something that can, can buy, something that YouTube can do that has the support and that has the bandwidth and the server size. I know it'll take a long time. I, I mean, I don't know nothing about servers. I'm just, you know, I know little. I know very little about servers and bandwidth and all that other shit. But there has to be some techie guys out. Tech, some of y'all out there, some of y'all millennials, whatever. What can we do to start our own shit and have it run as efficiently as YouTube? I don't know. Maybe it's a pipe dream. I don't think so. YouTube did it. We can do it too. It started off as strictly a platform where people can upload and share whatever they wanted to share. Now it's like they're turning into a cable, cable television. That's really what they're doing. They're turning into cable television. So once it reaches that point, we have to help them understand, look, y'all should not be protected like a platform. Anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. I'm repeating myself now. Much love to y'all. Share, like, subscribe, whatever. Peace out.